uh, thank you for having me and um, CryptoNets, thank you for allowing me to present this, uh, this mining rig here. Um, this is an awesome opportunity for me. Um, speaking public like this is new for me, so uh, I appreciate just a little bit of slack here. I may mess up here and there, but I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. So, um, if you want to find me, so I'm going to talk about this initially. If you want to find me, um, I'm on YouTube and you can just search that regular guy. And I'll pop up, I'll be the first listing, you'll see my logo, right? And I have a bunch of videos on cryptocurrencies, so about this rig setup, right? Um, about the software configuration, the operating system I use. I even have Word documents that show you step by step how to configure them. Um, which also has links to all the software and, and everything like that. I try to make it as easy as possible to set up because what TRG stands for is that regular guy, right? And so, you know, I come from, you know, from the ground up. Uh, I've, I've been involved in tech for, you know, quite a while. Uh, I started when I was 12, so I'm not doing the math right now. I'm 23, okay? Um, but anyways, um, the reason why I want to talk about this today, uh, this build, is because it's been life changing. Um, this rig itself generates approximately around 2,200 Canadian a month to about $3,000 a month. Okay, and the cost to build the rig was about $5,600. Okay, so I uploaded a video on YouTube on this rig and I said, you know, Hey guys, um, I set this up, it's amazing, check it out. And um, <laughs> I went from 50 subscribers to 800 subscribers in the matter of two weeks. You know, um, and the views on the video went from zero all the way to 30,000 in those two weeks. And uh, my main audience uh, is Canadians, right? Awesome. So, so 30,000 people, or just one guy mashing the refresh <laughs> <You know? laughs> went in there and uh, you know they saw a lot of value in this and I don't see why not because you know I'm looking at opportunities to to literally quit my job right because I have these working day and night at home how many um, so right now I actually only have two of these but I'm going to be looking at setting about um, 18 or 19 really wow. soon Right, and if they're pulling in twenty-two hundred to about three thousand dollars a month, you know, two of these, and you're set. You're you're already making like a fantastic salary, right? In comparison to um, you know just doing the regular nine to five, right? So the first off, um, first thing that I do when uh, whenever I set up mining rigs is I hook them up to power bars that have built-in fuses. Okay, so here's one. It's just four ports. It has a 15 amp fuse built in, so that if the power draw ever exceeds 15 amps, this pops, right, and no more power goes to the rig, okay? So the way I see it, you should always start with, you know, safety, right? Because, you know, there's always, there's always stories for mining rigs where, you know, cables melt and, you know, fire hazard and all of that, right? Well, safety first, right? That's where we want to start. So you set this up, um, just plug in everything to this. When, uh, when you're starting out, and that'll ensure that you know nothing's melting. There's no fire hazards, and you don't have to go through your home insurance because nobody wants to do that, right? So um, the next thing that I've set up here, uh, actually, the next thing that I've set up here is um, I have two this like I have two power supplies, right? So I have uh, a 750 watt, and then I have uh, a thousand watt EVGA, and. You guys are probably wondering, why didn't you just use one power supply, right, for the intermediate crowd in IT? Why didn't you just use one, right? Um, the reason why is because I'm cheap. I'm <laughs> real cheap, right? And I think, I think everybody is... It's true a Winnipegger. Bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think everybody um, is a little cheap. Like, like, I started getting into this and I'm like, well, what is the smallest amount of money I could invest and still get a really high return? Yeah. Right? I think that's what we all want. So, to do the... the you know, the, the rig setup um, without any of the hardware and just the frame and all of that jazz, it cost me like 10 bucks, right? And that's what you want to spend, I think, initially when you're starting out, because then there's not as much risk. So what I did here is, um, it's actually really sturdy. I can just lift it up and show you guys, right? 
Um, I used one by twos for the frame, right? And then I screwed them into just to this little um, this uh, little particle board on the bottom, right? And um, the one by twos, you get them at Home Depot, super cheap. Uh, I think it's like a dollar twenty each or something for eight feet, right? Dirt cheap. And uh, you just cut them apart with a chop saw and you, you pop them on there. So you're pretty much laughing as far as that goes. Um, then what I did is I actually screwed in the cards to the top here. I'll pull one out so I can show you guys. Because I don't want them wobbling around, you know, like I had to drive this here in my car <laughs> And that's not a joke because this is like six grand. <laughs> Why you don't have it running right now? <laughs> because I want to show you guys <laughs> right? Make money well instead <laughs> Well, to be honest with you, I'm actually running quite a few uh, like rigs at home right now So I can afford to take this apart for a little while. I mean, I'm losing what call it 60 bucks it's not that much. I see that in gains at the end of the month. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> so here's one of the Vegas. All right, guys. Um, these cards are approximately about um, $800 to about $1,500 right now. They've seen a lot of inflation because um, people have seen what they can do, right? So, that's essentially uh, the situation there. They take uh, two 8 pin connectors on the top. Right, and uh, so how I have this set up is I have the risers, um, which are these little adapters for the new people that are into this. I'll take this apart so everybody can really see what's going on. Is it cheaper to buy them in bulk? Absolutely. I bought I bought a hundred of them I think two weeks ago, and um, I think they were like six dollars a piece, so which is pretty decent. Are you talking about the risers or the cards? I thought you were talking about the cards. I was going to say, wow. Whoever uh, hasn't seen that, go ahead. The cards themselves, you can try to buy these in bulk, but finding them is incredibly difficult. It is very hard. Um, I know people that are trying to pick up uh, you know, 50, 50 of these or 100 of these at a time, and um, they're having like zero success rate. Mm. I'm just assuming all this goes into a, a, a motherboard? Yep, okay. on the other we'll side. So I'll, I'll keep going through the rest of this, and then what I'll actually do is I'll take questions at the end, if that's all right with everybody? Yeah. I'll yeah. take all the questions, every one you guys got. <laughs> okay, so I'll set this down for now. Um, so I just uh, handed out a riser there. You guys are tossing around, good stuff. So that riser actually has a USB cable that connects into a PCI port. Um, in the bottom of the motherboard here, which I'll show you guys. You can see an array of them at the front where the USB cables run in. Hopefully that's visible to everybody. Yeah, okay. Just make sure everybody can take a look at that. Yeah, all right, I'll actually reverse the rig just so everybody can get a nice look of what's going on. So anyways, they plug into the bottom here, right, to the motherboard, and that allows for them to be recognized uh, by the computer, right? So you have your graphics cards, then you have your adapters, which are your risers, that run into the motherboard, right? And then at that point, you can start mining once you've installed Windows, et cetera, et cetera, right? So the operating system that I use for this setup is I use Windows 10. It allows for me to do a lot of the optimization that I need to do in order to get the hash rate that I get with these cards, okay? Um, on top of that, the, the motherboard that I'm using is actually um, a TBTC-250 motherboard. And um, they allow for six cards to be configured, and then if you use the M2 port on them, you can configure a seventh card. And, the car and when I bought the motherboards, they were about $100 a piece. So the motherboard's $100 a piece. The risers will say $10 a piece, okay? Each card was about, well, I got them for about $880 each. Okay, each one of these. And then the power supplies themselves, um, the 750 watt I actually got for about $50, right, um, during that uh, awesome boxing day. And then the EVGA 1000 watt, um, I ended up getting that 
uh, for about a hundred dollars as well on sale. The regular okay, two hundred. Yeah, regular two hundred. Yeah. So getting them on sale, you know, just shopping for the right buys and stuff like that is the way to go. Um, but uh, but anyways, um, yeah, the, the hash rates that you turn out on these, I, I mine ETN with these, right? And each one will do about 1,950 hash. So 1,950 hash. So each card approximately returns about um, 18 to about $25 Canadian a day. Right? Why would you choose a ETN? Uh, ETN? Uh -huh. Okay, so the reason why I'm on ETN right now, actually, yeah, well, I'll take more questions at the end, but I'll answer sure. this one for now. But uh, the reason why I'm on ETN is because it, the block rate is fantastic, um, and, the, and the block reward per block is amazing. It's like, uh, I think it's 5,000 something right now per block. So, um, and each, each ETN is worth about, uh, right now, I think it's 14 cents uh, US, mm -hmm. right? So I'm mining it right now and I'm mining it early because I have a lot of faith in the project, mm -hmm. right? Um, I've seen the mobile app. I know that the iOS app is coming out and um, uh, they've delivered. You know, they've really delivered with their performance and their mobile app is amazing. They're also um, one of the first uh, cryptocurrencies to allow mobile mining. So you can do mining from your phone, right? So if that doesn't blow anybody away here, you know, I don't know. But uh, so it's pretty fantastic as far as that goes. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the setup there. Now I, I want to uh, address a major question that a lot of my viewers have been having <coughs> on this setup. They say, well, how do you set up your dual power supplies to these cards? Well, how do you, like, what's your configuration? Um, how do you wire them up, right? Well, I'm going to explain right now. So for the 750 watt, I literally wire this to the motherboard and the hard drive, right? And then two cards, as you saw the first card, right? These red connectors symbolize um, connections to this power supply, right? So two cards are connected to this power supply, which is a 750 watt. And then the 1000 watt EVGA actually runs four of the cards, okay? And then I've, I haven't had any issues with this. I can run this weeks on end. It runs stable. It earns profits day and night. You know, I can't say the same. So, yeah. How much power does it take? Oh, so, Sorry. No, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm, I'm actually almost at the point of questions. So um, it pulls, like each card pulls about 135 watts to about 145 watts. Um, overall, the rig, I've seen it steady at about 1,000 watts and about 10.1 amps constant, which has been pretty good. So um, I, think, I think that's it for the presentation.